At only 28 years old, Mariam El Subaye runs her own company, selling objects made in Qatar. All Qataris, both men and women, are guaranteed a job, higher wages, and simplified procedures should they ever decide to start a business, all thanks to a nationalization program called Qatarization. I was the director of uh, programs and creation in Qatar Television. And uh, before that, I worked in marketing and at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And I started several youth initiatives. And uh, so I just reached a point in my life where I wanted to create something that's my own. The emancipation of women in Qatar reached its peak in 1999, when women gained the right to vote and run for public office, an initiative that came from the top at the request of Sheikha Moza, wife to Qatar's former emir. At the Carnegie Mellon University in Doha, there are now four times more women registered in the business program than men. We have women in IT, we have women in uh, the banking sector, they, they work in hospitals, they work in any, any sector you can imagine. Qatar is one of the wealthiest per capita nations in the world. In this favorable economic context, young Qataris are encouraged to contribute to the country's development. It's easy to create your own company, so young people take advantage of that. They're well equipped for it and they're encouraged to do it. There are many business centers here, like the Business Incubation Center of Qatar, which was recently created. There are plenty of banks who create prizes for young entrepreneurs. It's a priority. And at this forum for startup creators, most of the featured companies are run by women. Qatar is paving the way in terms of women's rights, but there is still some resistance. It's difficult, uh, I think, for people to accept that the culture is still conservative in a way, that they do think that women can do something or uh, they're less, in a way, than the guys. I'm not sure why, but this generation is uh, actually approving the opposite by having more ladies leading things and uh, being in a top position. Despite its progress, Qatar remains a patriarchal society, and women there face different forms of discrimination. Men and women are entitled to equal salaries, but some sectors, like agriculture or fishing, are still exclusively reserved to men. In 2012, only 35% of Qatari women old enough to work held a job, a percentage that seems to have come to a standstill.